Well, it's been one of the most watched videos that's gone viral in South Africa. We're talking about uh, this alleged kidnapping attempt taking place at a restaurant. We'll bring you the video in a moment, but it sparked a massive debate around the country. The value of martial arts training uh, certainly highlighted as a result of this viral video. It's a man he can be seen tackling a would-be kidnapper at a restaurant. Uh, my next guest, a uh, very well-known uh, jiu-jitsu expert, Cameron Pritchard, and also mixed martial artist. He joins us now. Uh, Cameron, we're busy watching the video at the moment. We'll bring you on camera in a moment. Uh, you've seen this video. Uh, for me, it looks like they're sitting at a restaurant. Some guy jumps over this balustrade, goes for this little child, and then I think it's the owner climbs in and, and brings him to the ground. Yeah, it's crazy. When I watched it first, I saw the guy in the corner. He was busy playing on his phone, and all of a sudden, obviously, out of frame, we can't see what the guy's doing, but I'm assuming he's running at the railing. Mm. And if someone's running at the railing, they only have one intention, that's to jump over. If he's jumping over, he's not a paying customer. He's looking to do some damage. So he preempted this, or he saw it, and then he, he, he acted according, you know, like... How was that reaction? Because the video shows, and we're going to keep looping it for you, uh, it's the owner of this restaurant, we understand. Uh, within a split second, he had lunged across to the other table and, and basically subdued this guy. But he's getting a lot of credit. He's been called a hero he is uh, a for hero. the way he handled it. Because it wasn't he just didn't grab him uh, and, and beat him to the ground. Uh, I understand he's actually trained uh, in some kind of mixed martial arts. Yeah, so I did look, I did a little bit of research. So he actually, he trains with one of our affiliate coaches. So my coach is Richard Kwan. Um, and what he does is he shares the knowledge with everyone, you know. Ooh. So if you have a school, there's no politics, you come here and he'll teach you a curriculum and you can teach that to your students. So um, this guy is training under Huntley Smith at Art Suave, which is one of Rich's affiliates. Mm. Um, one thing with MMA and Jiu Jitsu, it teaches you that fight or flight, you can start to see where, how you need to react to a situation. And in this, I think he did the right thing. Mm. Well, the video is um, on this monitor over here for you. We're going to oh, play the game go. for you now. You <laughs> just, so we're going to press play on this. I think my, techni my crack technical team are going to press play for us. So just walk us through here. So there he is, bottom of the screen. What's happening? Yeah, so he ran behind the guy, grabbed his shoulder, and I see he also grabbed his wrist. So the best thing to do is to get behind someone, because if he does have a weapon or a knife, you're behind him, he can't attack you. Um, they call jiu-jitsu the gentle art, but obviously you can see uh, that it, uh, it wasn't too gentle. Yeah, he was able to hold the guy down till the security guards and car guard even came to help. Um, so yeah, I think it's one of the best ways to do it, because you never know, a punch can go anyone's way. Mm. You know, a, a punch has changed many a fights and upset many a bookie. You know, so being behind this guy, taking his back, off balancing him and putting him to the ground um, and waiting for the proper, to, uh, proper authorities to come and handle the situation is probably the best thing he could have done. And this has inspired a lot of people on, on social camera, and I, and I hope people go and find you on social media because I'm sure you'll be able to uh, give tips on what to do. Obviously, he's trained in this, yeah. but what it's brought to the fore is just how quickly this happens. That's less than five seconds. Yeah, it's And shocking. this assailant is on this poor child. Someone watching at home, they've never thought about necessarily doing jiu-jitsu or uh, a formal uh, way of training. But is there something that you can give somebody watching, if they end up in a situation like this, how to handle it without hurting themselves? 100%. I, I think everyone needs to do some form of martial arts. I'm not going to critique any and say one is better than the other. I do prefer ju uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu because of the effectiveness. Um, it was actually created to, um, for the smaller man to subdue the bigger man or lady, etc. So yeah, I think anyone should join a gym. They say rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So today you showed he trained it. It might have been just for leisure to lose weight or whatever, but he's learned a skill and now he's been able to implement that skill to save someone's life. And I think that's a, a wonderful thing, you know. The problem is, I can, I can imagine, because I, I, I certainly am going to admit to this, some people at home are going to be watching uh, while they sit with their packet of chips and a beer. Uh, they don't look like you. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're not a primed professional athletes but you're not six foot tall all these things uh, can anybody do this because someone's going to be watching going, I, I can't do this 100 percent so at our gym we have from three years old up until 60 odd and so it's truthfully it's for everyone like i said it's been created for the smaller person to be able to subdue a bigger person um so i think it's definitely something we need and as far as uh, getting it trained as well, I almost want to take the conversation to knowing our crime stats in this country. We're not going to go yeah. into crime stats, but it's beyond 
being fit, being healthy, being prepared, yeah. it could very well save you or someone else's life. 100%. Like I said, rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Mm. You know, and as you were saying about people not thinking they fit the demographic to be doing the sport, um, I literally just shared a post from the woman, uh, I forget the name of the page, mm. they, um, it's a woman grappling site from South Africa, and they shared Monique van Staden, which is one of the fighters, Martin van Staden's wife. And she's a tiny lady, but she gives the guys hell. Yeah. Like, honestly, so she's perfect, a perfect example that jiu-jitsu is for everyone and can teach anyone how to subdue a bigger person. Yeah, dynamite comes in small packages. I'm Cameron, I, I know lots of people are going to now want to go and find you, talk to you. Are you on, as the kids say, are you on the socials? I am. Right. Um, Cam Pritchard underscore BJJ, and then also Livre Kimonos, which is the gears you need for the... To compete so yeah all right so as i say goodbye to you uh, this man who wants to remain unnamed and i think that's the part we all love he doesn't want the glory he wants to remain unnamed he handled this the best he could 100 percent man this guy's a hero you know a lot of people see things happen and they don't act they're waiting for the proper authorities and there is a line you know obviously you don't want to um get yourself involved in a situation where you potentially could get hurt but with the proper training he's just going to show that I don't know how he does it, why he does it, whether it be to lose weight, stay in shape, learn the martial art, or because he wants to fight. Um, it came in handy in this day, and I'm sure there's a family that's very grateful that he did. I'm sure there is a family very, very grateful. Cameron Pritchard, thank you very much. Jiu-Jitsu ex expert. <laughs> you. Uh, you were going to see him try and beat me up on set because of social distancing, though. You even put on all the gear, but <laughs> luckily for me... Uh, I'm not going to cry on national television after Cameron puts me to the floor uh, and knocks me out. Cameron, thank you very much thank you for having indeed me. for coming in to speak to us here on Upfront. Now you know uh, it's not just about getting fit, but uh, something like jiu-jitsu and a mixed martial arts is not just fun, but you could very well uh, end up uh, using it one day to protect yourself or others.